For videographers like me, portable monitors are super useful when it comes to extending my device's display, especially when I'm on the move. Or even when I have fun at home because it's simple to use and doesn't need to mess around with wires or cables like a typical monitor I use in the office. Sorry about my mess. Certainly most quality portable monitors on the market are expensive, but this one right here is going to blow your mind. This is a 15.6 inch 1080p QLED touchable monitor. It's called Indohill. Just a second, let me get the full name. Indohill YTH-156PMS. Mm? Oh no, PXT. YTH-156PXT. Yes, that's a long and unusual name, but actually this manufacturer Indohill has been focusing on portable monitors for many years. If you are interested to learn more about this manufacturer, you can check out the link in the description. So, is it any good? Let's dive into it. I will start with unboxing and design. This part is usually very boring, but no worries, I will go through very quickly. So in the box, you will find the monitor and also the case that attaches magnetically to it, a manual, an HDMI cable, a Type-C to Type-C cable, and a USB-A to Type-C cable. That's it. As for the design of the monitor, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, an OSD dial for the menu, an indicator and a power key that's also a return key. Moving to the other side, we have a mini HDMI port and two Type-C ports. While at the bottom, we have a two-watt speaker. If you're wondering how does it sound, here it is. Not very impressive, but it's better than nothing. After all, the body of the monitor is really slim. There's no way to put a bigger speaker there. The inner here monitor is a very sleek device that measures as thin as 5mm. The thick part is 10mm at the bottom, which houses the IO ports and built-in speakers. And it weighs only 819 grams, which is a lot lighter than some of the popular port monitors on the market. The bezels around the screen are slim, as you can see. There is an extra cover case that I've mentioned before. It also serves as the monitor's kickstand. A little bit of flimsy, so I do wish they can provide a more regular one, or even the one with the hinge or something. But I guess the in here has put a lot of money into the screen itself. Speak of the screen, I want to go through specs like color gamut, sRGB, and TSC, anything of such, because there are already a lot of reviews did that. I will just put more video samples here so you can just watch the result by yourself. As we can see, the color saturation is absolutely stunning. It keeps the details crisp and lifelike. It also has a high contrast ratio for each black levels and remarkable picture depth. It's super bright as well. Bright images still look punchy and vibrant with surprisingly rich colors and level of eye-catching intensity that monitors at this price are supposed to have. <laughs> As for touch accuracy and response, I barely feel the legs. It's fast and smooth, whether connected to my laptop or phone. One thing I really like is I've mentioned before, you don't need additional power in order to make the monitor work. Just use that Type-C cable that comes with the box, but if I push louder volumes or higher brightness, the monitor does turn off by itself as my laptop doesn't have sufficient power to supply, so you might want to plug in extra power to this machine. It supports USB pass-through charging over 10 watts. The frequency for gaming is locked at 60 FPS. It might not be that ideal for those hardcore gamers, but for me, it's enough. After all, I really don't have that much time for gaming, and 120 Hz would be a huge drain on batteries of other devices. To conclude, the Intel 15.6-inch QLED monitor is truly a great display for content consumption and creation, and it's without a doubt one of the most practical gadgets I've reviewed on this channel. What I really like about this monitor is the build quality and design. 
It's a decent and lightweight monitor that you can bring anywhere. The, the case is a little bit on the downside. It protects the screenware and serves as a good basic kickstand. What's more importantly is the screen. Great and full body color, no screen bleeding, no flickery effect, and it's super bright. For me, it's going to meet my professional video editing for sure. So if you are interested in this monitor, I'll put a link in the description, you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay.